Epic is very careful about making the graphics look as good as it can. We want to give our artists the most powerful tool we can to give them the power to make the, the art that they want to do. I saw a Paris apartment for the first time quite a while ago and it blew my mind. <laughs> it was like, this is on a mobile device? I, I, it was hard to believe it. The Paris apartment demo takes the Unreal Engine 4 deferred renderer, which typically runs on PC and Xbox 360 and PlayStation 4 and runs on mobile. The idea is that you can take high level content and also run it on mobile with a little bit of love. The Qualcomm uh, Adreno GPU is a little bit unique. Development time is, is shorter and they can just get to the end result, get the game running quicker and then they can polish and tweak over time as they want to. They're definitely ahead of the curve in mobile. I haven't seen it on any other mobile platform other than one which doesn't run in a mobile phone. The inspiration you get from watching something like uh, Zen Restaurant is something that appeals to the core of me as a graphics programmer, lets me see the potential of what it could be. The content's very nice. It's architecture visualization, so it's the fact that it's very realistic. Modern restaurants tend to have a very cool feel. There's a lot more to show, so we thought it'd be a good idea to do a restaurant. We, we talk a lot with uh, different developers and we get feedback from them, so we, we want to know what they're doing for the non-mobile space, so we can sort of follow behind that as closely as we can. So we'll have hardware that sort of is catching up even closer to what they're seeing. But that's, I think that's what helps put us ahead of the game. It's because of this, this unique ability that Adreno has to uh, switch between uh, tile mode rendering and direct rendering that makes it so powerful. The hope is that they don't have to worry as much anymore about higher end performance. The things will just work out, because that's what most developers want. We're just trying to make available to them what they need. Most people don't have the time to actually go in and make sure that they're getting everything out of the system. We're just pushing the boundaries.